So how do you play this game? Because winning is just a game. So how do you play the game? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So there is, um, and, and really life is a game. I hope we can all agree on that. I hope as you're going through this entire series with me, you'll, you will um, constantly remind yourself that this is a game. I'm a player in a game. I'm moving the pieces. I have choice, I have free will, and it's a game, right? So there is something in game theory. Let's talk about game theory, right? Let's talk about game theory. There is something called game theory. And there are two levels, um, two, two parts of game theory. One is finite and one is infinite, right? You're gonna wanna write all this down. There's one is finite and one is infinite. So what does finite mean? Finite means fixed. There are known players, there are fixed rules, and there is a absolute end. You score the most points, you have the most chips, you whatever, right? That is finite gaming. Infinite gaming is, there is known and unknown. There can be known players, there can be unknown players, there can be known rules, there can be unknown rules. The rules absolutely change. And the objective is to keep the game going. So let's just review that one more time. There's finite gaming and there's infinite gaming. So finite gaming is fixed players, known rules. It's baseball, right? It's basketball, it's poker, right? There are known players and there is an end. To win this game, you end this way and it is known. Infinite, it's known and unknown. The rules change and the objective is to keep the game going. It's not to have this thing to end it because you wanna keep the game going. So finite um, is kind of known as stable. Right? It's kind of known as stable. We know the players, we know the rules, we know the objective, we know how to get to the end. Infinite, people drop out. People come, they go, right? There really are no winners and no losers. And the entire theory is that the game just keeps going, right? Here's how you win. I would bet that you most likely have been playing your business and your life in a finite game. How do I learn? I can feel the energy of people agreeing with this. Like I can feel like just so I can feel it energetically, just like throw your hands in the air if you're like, yep, I've been playing that there's an end. There's a finish line. I need to know what that finish line is. There are rules. Where do we find the rules? How do I find the rules? Can somebody send me the rule book? And I'm, I'm exaggerating when I say that, but we do look for the rules, right? In business, like how do I market, right? How do I set up a sales conversation, right? What should this look like? How should I build the business exactly, right? So most people play the finite game. The other reason most people play the finite game is because we like an ending. That gives us comfort. To finish gives us comfort, right? Just tell me how long this is gonna hurt so I know when it ends, right? Tell me how long I have to hold my breath underwater. Tell me how long I have to push. Tell me how long the race is, right? Is it, is it the, you know, is it a half marathon? Tell me how long it's gonna take to launch this, whatever it is, we like the comfort of there's a beginning, middle, and end. So one of the keys to this infinite game is that you have to keep playing, right? If the, take this in for a second. Oh, I get so excited about this. Take this in for a second. If the entire goal of the game is to, game theory, is to play from an infinite place, which means the entire goal is that the game keeps going and you don't let the game in, then you have to keep playing no matter what, right? No matter what no matter the heartache, no matter the headache, no matter the fear, no matter the failure, right? Because I didn't say the goal of the game was to keep winning. I said for it to keep going. You are gonna lose a million times playing the infinite game theory, but it won't matter because you keep playing. And in the end, the wins will always outweigh the losses.